This is the daily digital planner that I use, and I've been fine-tuning it quite a bit over the course of the last year. And I wanted to give you a brief rundown of how it is that I use it. Of course, you can buy the template that I already have, and part of what you're going to get from me if you buy the product is you will get the daily tab that you see right here. Um, I also have a tab that I use and I refer to in my planning blog post series, um, the weekly tracking um, and the information that I have in there, how I work with it, and then my monthly plan. So those three things all together will come in the item that you purchase from me. Again, that's the daily planner, the weekly tracking, and the monthly planner. This video is only going to go over the weekly, or I'm sorry, rather, the daily planner. And um, if you buy that product from me, you will get the other two um, pieces. All right, so here we go. There's very simple, it's set up with the main working column it's on the left and then the more informational over on the right. That was very strategic on my behalf because our eyes read from left to right, so I put the most important stuff first. And you'll see I've set this calendar up in blocks of essentially 90, <clears throat> excuse me, 90 minute blocks. And then I have added in essentially space into my day so I can use that space either to take a break, to get a snack, get some coffee. Um, often it's used as overflow time because maybe I've miscalculated how long you know, a project will take me, or I get interrupted with something else and I have to change gears and come back. So those are intentional breaks I've built into my day to help me not feel so hurried and rushed and like panicky. So I have four of those in this particular case, and then I'm ending essentially the third one um, with checking my inbox. Obviously, anything and everything on this, you make it yours. You know, you can change the times if you want to. You will see that I have mine starting at 8.30 a.m., but I actually have that blank. The reason for that is I have um, this intense morning routine that I go through, and sometimes I sleep a little bit later. Sometimes I take a longer walk. There's a lot of different things that I may not actually start my workday at my desk until 9 a.m. So this space I leave open and if I get to my desk beforehand, then I will work on something personal. I might just jump in to whatever I've scheduled for block one, but at least I don't feel anxious if I'm planning my day starting from 8.30, but not really starting till nine, because that could be a make or break situation. So that's why I have that there. Again, just space, giving myself a little bit of breathing room so I'm easing into my day instead of panicking with being behind. Now, the other thing that I want to mention too with regards to how I plan my day, I live by my Google Calendar. And so as I'm planning my day, the very first step I'm always doing is I'm looking at my calendar. For example, today, I knew that I had a client call at 11 a.m. So I'm putting in client call. And of course, I put in the client that I'm having the call with, but for the purposes of privacy in this video, not happening like that, client call. I like to highlight my client calls of very specific color. Um, I use boring yellow. So anytime I see the yellow on my calendar, I know this is a client call. Um, tonight, for example, I have a yoga class that starts at 5.30. You'll see for myself, I normally am not checking my email until later during the day. Um, that works for my line of work. It doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Again, make this your own. But in my case, because I know I need to leave the house by five. Well, I need to get ready and leave the house by 5.15. Um, <clears throat> I need to factor that in. So that means these have to move. And I'm just going to bloop, drop those right there. Gonna do this. Get ready. Leave for five. 5.30 yoga, 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 yoga. Now, when I get home, I might very well do some personal little like clean things up for the end of the day. Um, if something goes haywire, I will actually end up planning today, like maybe after yoga. But my ideal is to plan it before I go to yoga. That way, if I get back and I decide not to sit back down on my computer, I already have tomorrow planned out because I'm always doing this the night before. 
So today, Monday, I will be planning tonight for Tuesday. I like to color my personal care items in pink, self-love. Um, you can roll your eyes or whatever, but hey, I, that's what I like. You, again, can do whatever you want. And then the other things that I start doing, so I've kind of just dropped some things in here. So we're just going to pretend really quick. Let a finish October bookkeeping. And I know that this particular client's going to take me actually all 90 minutes. So I'm going to put in here, I'm estimating 90 minutes. When I actually finish the work, I can put in here how much it actually took me. Here, I only have a 30 minute block. So I'm going to say client B, finish Gusto setup. I apologize if Gusto is actually Gusto. No idea. I think it actually is Gusto. All right, so we're gonna say that's gonna take 30 minutes here. I'm estimating the phone call is going to take 60. And basically that's what I'm doing. Down here at the bottom, I know for myself, try not to get any more than six billable hours, which is actually kind of hard, um, just based on the interruptions I get throughout the day and whatever. So this here kind of keeps me in line. This is going to show me, so for example, this call today actually only took 20 minutes. So I have this gift of 40 minutes, which I'm actually using to record this video. It wasn't on my schedule for today. And so I could start keeping track of these numbers down here if I want. Um, and of course, I'm going to be putting on here the days. All right, start time, I start at 8.15 this morning. I round to the nearest five minutes. Tonight, um, we're going to assume that I actually stop exactly at 5 p.m. And here it shows that I've worked eight hours, 45 minutes. Now, in order for this formula here to work, I need to convert eight hours and 45 minutes into um, a decimal format so that the Google Sheet can actually do the formula. So that little green thing, that's uh, again, make this how you want it. So in my case, I know that eight hours and 45 minutes is 8.75. At the end of the day, I'm going to get the total hours um, billed from my FreshBooks account. So let's just say of the 8.45 I spent at my desk, let's say 6.25 turns out to be billable time. So now I know that 71% of my day was billable. I also happen to track the number of emails left in my inbox at the end of the day. Um, it's more psychological really than anything. So there I'll say like, oh, I had 23 left. Obviously I, my inbox dictates that. Here on deck, I use this spot to indicate things that I need to work on tomorrow just so I don't forget them and my mind can think about other things because I've captured them. And then my mind's like, okay, fine, you can go work on whatever else. Um, and I can put in here, um, client, client C, uh, I estimate that it's going to take me 15 minutes to do that. So I can kind of just start to think about how tomorrow's going to work out. But again, so I wanted to do this intentionally. I put on here 15 minutes, but you notice I'm tracking on the left in 30 minute intervals or yeah, the intervals, right word. Okay. So um, in that case, you know, let's pretend I was doing this for tomorrow. I would actually schedule it in here as 30, even though here I put it as 15. Um, there might be people calling me back. There's just, I like to keep things in 30 minute intervals. Again, you can make it however you want. Monthly goals, write three new blog posts. This I typically figure out at the beginning of the month, my monthly goals, the three monthly goals. And I'm going to use that throughout the month. And it's just kind of an in my face reminder that, hey, this is what you intend to do every day. In this case, personal goals this week, hammock, yoga, um, um, these types of goals, exercise, personal care, I don't assign a time to them, but let's say I'm going to book campsites, campgrounds, that um, is probably a bigger project, so here I would put 90 minutes, so that way, haha, -ha, see, now, if I knew that this was my personal goal this week, well, then I would be like, research and book camp sites. So now I've just scheduled, 
because this is important to me. I've just scheduled this on my calendar and I know that I have allotted hopefully proper time to actually work on this without ending up anxious and all of that stuff. So again, use this however you want. Um, you can see I've made some little customizations and tweaks. Basically, do whatever you want. Um, again, if you buy this product from me, not only will you get this particular sheet, but you'll get my monthly tabs and my weekly tracking sheet, um, as well as the instructional videos on what to do with them, um, which I'm not obviously going over in this video because I don't want it to be too long. All right, I hope you have an awesome day and here's to your productivity.